All right, invite the boys over, even the ones that suck at golf, because we got a run, pod run, spray approved course just for them, but they need to bring the beer. All right, Facebook. Not sure how I feel about Facebook, or as I like to call it, brag book. You know, people aren't real on Facebook, right? We got one acquaintance, I want to call her that, my wife follows her. She's so heavily filtered, and she posts stuff, and she's got this filter on her face, and people are like, oh my God, you look so good. What is your secret? Come on, people, can you not see she is so filtered. She looks like a freaking cat. Anyway, Facebook. I love the groups on it, especially the GS Pro groups. All right, there's a good way to showcase a lot of our talent out here, a lot of our courses. So I do like Facebook for that. And every single day on Facebook, one of the groups, hey, uh, what's the best course to play on GS Pro? Hey, I got some buddies that aren't great at golf. Hey, we want to do a scramble. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, this course keeps coming up Payne's Valley I guess it I guess you can call it a vault course it's been around a while um, but it always comes up and it's a good course for when you don't have your best stuff I had just come off a red eye this morning that I filmed this I went to bed for a few hours the wife left the house for a bit I'm like, oh, I got to get around to golfing. I'm going to film this because I want to uh, record this for the boys. But I was awful. Like, look at this. Just left, left, right, left, 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 right, left. Just total army golf. I did not have my best. For those of you, you know, you do a red eye. How do you feel after that? You feel like crap, right? So I do like three or four a month. So I literally felt like I'm going to run over here. So I didn't have my best. But this is the perfect course for this because you can spray it and still be okay all right so this is a great course to have i know pud is going to redo this course uh, when he has the v4 tools i might pledge to anybody that redoes their courses in v4 that i have already showcased on here i will redo the video in uh, when you do the v4 tools as long as it doesn't suck but if it doesn't suck now i doubt it'll suck later all right, here we go. The designer, Run, Pud, Run. I actually had this course lined up last week, and then he went and put out Scottsdale. I'm like, I got to do that one first. So I'm doing this one now. Uh, I've actually got four of his courses lined up here. One he's not going to release for a couple weeks after Scottsdale, just so it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. Little note for you designers. Never put a course out when a real good one comes along because yours will get lost. I don't put anything when Stingray puts it out because, like, nobody will play my course, right? Ooh, another lip out. Putting was terrible today. Just a heads up. All right. So, Pud, the guy has a ton of courses. Ooh, I think we're doing a flyover first. Yeah, look at all the beauty here, the water. The BS Pro grass, the background with the trees, the billboarding, the texturing, all good. I'll talk about all this in a second. But run, pud, run. Two courses in a row I've done of his. Like worlds are colliding, right? What's going on? He's got so many courses. I'm pretty sure run, pud, run has a sweatshop in his basement for course building. Maybe he's got his kids down there. All the Gen Zers are like, you can't say that. You've offended me. Well. I'm sorry if I've offended you, all right? Get off your device after you watch this video. Go smell the grass. I don't care if I've offended you. It is what it is. It's like my dad used to say, I'm 70 years old. Nobody's going to tell me what I can and can't say. Well, I guess I'm 51 now, so I'm 51 years old. Nobody can tell me what I can and can't say. Anyway, he has a lot of courses. I'm, of course, kidding. Uh, but he's got some really good stuff. And, of course, he's one of our Patreon guys. He's one of the four guys currently that have a Patreon account. He's got some really neat stuff in there. So if you go, you want some fantasy courses for the kids, uh, anything like that, a lot of different stuff. That Oh, what a putt. Uh, that is the Patreon for you. All right, here we go. Seventh hole. 
a lot of rock work on this. Uh, he's done a lot of rock work. I've also added Payne's 19th on the end of this, which is a separate course. A lot of good stuff on this course. All right. On another note, I just got a new mic to do these podcasts in. Uh, oh, nice approach shot. I was doing them before on my AirPods, my, my Buds or whatever they're called, and I literally sounded like I was coming to you from 1967. So I went and bought one of these ones to plug in, a USB plug-in, and I was filming, recording the other day, or sorry, doing a voiceover the other day, and the wife came in. She goes, what is that? I'm like, what's well, for my podcast? It's a new mic. She goes, how much money are you going to spend on this golf obsession of yours? It's either that or how much time are you going to spend on this golf obsession of yours? And Pud was telling me he was there was a dog fight the other week. Ooh, toe, Sir Toes a lot is out and about today on the golf course. Love it. All right, it'd just be easier. It would just be easier if they accepted our obsessions, right? Maybe, and you know what? At the end of it, you go upstairs and. I check out my demographics for these YouTubes and it's 100% men. So if there is the odd woman that watches, let's just say thank you. Um, so, yeah, ooh, blew that by. Terrible putt. I told you my putting was terrible. But it would just be easier if, you, let's say, your spouse, after you're done with your golf game, you go upstairs and you're like, oh, that was a tough round. My back is sore. And the spouse gave you a back rub. It would be so much easier. I'm going to run this by my wife and I will let you know how it goes. I'm fairly confident I will be divorced, but hey, and I won't have any money for sim golf, so I'm going to have to go I'm going to have to go to P Wade's house or something on the island and play some golf with him. He's he's got a nice setup and his setup is so brilliant and I'll talk about it when I feature his course shortly it's outside the house in a different structure brilliant brilliant all right little chip here here we go all right it's a good thing my wife does not watch these podcasts or maybe she does love you let's talk a bit about this course as we fly over to the 10th hole as we're plus one what is going on after nine holes Pud waited a long time for the LiDAR to become available for this course. Uh, it wasn't available, but as soon as it came up, he grabbed it and started working on it. Payne's uh, Valley is, of course, uh, for the late Payne Stewart. It's the first, from what I, I researched it the other day, it's the first Tiger Woods design. Uh, except the 19th hole, I think the owner of the Bass Pro Shops. Uh, who owns the lodge there. I think he did that one. I, I was reading it. It's the internet, so it's got to be accurate, right? Um, so anyway, uh, Pud got into this. He did it all. It's all. It's very well blended. He's especially proud of the blend he did in Photoshop. I talk about the sat overlay in some other videos. So he's done a magnificent job. I love the trees, the billboarding of the trees, which I've also talked about in previous videos. And I really like the background the background with the gradient fog look at how that just in the sun it just the tower in the background so sweet and the flyovers like it just goes for miles the view really really well done uh our dyer did those tea boxes the tiger wood tea boxes and some of the stuff on 19 all the buildings, I think we're done by Jay Jixrod. I love that name. Jay Jixrod, paging Jay Jixrod. Um, Dr. Jixrod, to the to the emergency, please. Anyway, uh, here we go. Nice approach shot. What else can I tell you about this about this hole? Let's see here. What what is this? What do we drain? Oh, just yeah, putting terrible, right? Not good, but I still get that in for a par. He said on the 19th hole, which I do after this course, it took him 15 hours alone placing the rocks. That much for run, pod, run. 15 hours. And he said he hated it the first time. So he did it again. True designer. We all hate our work the first time. I look at some of my first time stuff. And after I'm done throwing up, I'm like, okay, I'm going to fix this with the new V4 tools. But it took him a long time 
with, with the rocks, and he's done just a splendid uh, job here on Payne's Valley in the Ozarks, because I think that's where uh, Payne Stewart was from. All right. Nice little approach. 13th hole already. 21 feet. Come on, get it. Oh, yes. Finally, a birdie. Back to even. Not playing my best. But that's the beauty of this course, besides the beauty in itself, is that you don't have to be at your best here, and you can still shoot okay because if i do this on a tight course it would be ugly i'm gonna feature another course here shortly and it's tight and if i shoot like this i may never release the video much to the dismay of the designer oh looky looky book who birdies two birdies in a row as we move on to the 15th hole Hope you and guys are enjoying these videos. I seem to be getting a little more knowledge with OBS, so not this video, not my next recording, but the one after that. I finally figured out how to just make the quality of touch better. It really balloons the file size, so I'm not gonna have true 4K or anything like that because it'll be literally 20 gigs and I'll never get it uploaded. Not a bad approach. You stay there, you stay there, you, you stay there. Oh my. Terrible break. See if I can recover from it. But anyway, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. You know, I'm going to get a little better video quality. I've got the better mic, so it won't seem like I'm coming to you from 1983 Channel 10 production, where you only had 14 channels, and Channel 10 was always the crappy community cable channel. Yeah. So I keep improving on that. Hopefully, you like it. Speaking of which, I mentioned one guy. Last time, I called him Luke Long, but it's Willie Long. Uh, Willie, is it Willie 8? That guy's number one in the World Golf Rankings on the SGT. Uh, if you guys get a chance, go see his videos. I'm not plugging him, but I really enjoy watching him play. Uh, he hits it a mile, but he's done a really nice high-end production job that makes mine look like, ooh, like my kid's elementary or middle school project all right and it's entertaining and he's fun and he follows a full round and he's witty it's perfect it's a really fun watch all right here we go i say all right a lot you just got to get used to it it is what it is i say that a lot too 240 yards not a big driving day i'm just trying to get through my round right now because i am exhausted I am just, I think after this, I went and lied on the couch for like three hours, he fell asleep, wife came home, and then I went straight to bed. I was just exhausted from work. Oh, see if we can get this up and down for a par. Oh, yeah, no problem. Off to the 18th we go. Amazing rock work. And you can see uh, Payne's 19th in the background there. I think I, yeah, doing a flyover. I'm drinking a beer because it's a great night. Even though I'm not feeling good, I think I'm drinking Steamworks Pilsner on this one. Another uh, Vancouver West Coast microbrewery. So good. I love beer. I love rum. I love scotch. I pretty much like it all. Uh, but yeah, nothing better for me than some beer, especially when I'm playing with the boys, right? It's so good. Golf, sim golf is supposed to be fun. I don't worry too much about my garbage shots. Okay, we're coming in here. Toey, as per norm, got about, uh, oh, that was not good. That was weak. I just trying to get through this round here, not feeling 100%. 66 yards on the approach. Okay, not bad. We're doing okay. I think I have to, what do we got? This is, uh, get just a two-pot here. Yep, no problemo. All right, 71 on a 72. Not my best round, but like I said, you don't need to. Here's the 19th hole flyover. It's, uh, I think, 104 yards at this pin. Downhill about five yards. This is my 54 degree. This is a separate course. Payne's 19th. You can find it. Favorite it. Look at all that rock work. It's gorgeous. 
All right, we've got a birdie attempt here. Yeah, birdie on Payne's 19th. All right, yeah, Shooter McGavin, loving it. All right, boys, because I know that's all who watches me. Here you go, Payne's, Payne's 19th. Great stuff. Well done, run, pud, run. Go follow his Patreon. All right, guys, see you next time.